off the Marrero pick. Back to the right hash to set out for it. Cross court Beeman. Ronnie for three. Switch! In the left corner, Marrero. Rico puts it down. Left of the lane. He'll move inside the lane. Kick to the right corner. Beeman for three. Got it! Three. Ronnie, two triples. He's got six points. Inbounding. Left corner, Marrero. Rico turns. 18 footer. The line drives in. Marrero straight away. Descent to Beeman. Right baseline. Harris from 16. Kansas. Here to go. Works out top. Out to descent toward the left hash. Nine seconds to go. Left of the lane, Marrero. Backing his man down to the lane. Down low. William Flam cut it. has the lead with three seconds to go. 87 85. But Florida State wins. Florida State wins. 87 85. And the Eagles hang on for an exciting victory here tonight at LST Johnson Arena. Hello, Eagle fans. I'm your host, Tara Arnold, here on Eagle Vision with Coach Spradlin here. We just had a win over uh, TSU. It was 85-87, to 87, a close, close clutch game. So since that was such a close clutch game, uh, what does it mean for you to come out with this win? Well, it's huge. We've been in a lot of close games this year and, and came up on the wrong side of those. A couple overtime games and a couple more that were very close until we came down the stretch and we, and we had to foul that made it look like it wasn't as close. So I'm just so proud of our guys, the discipline that they had tonight, uh, the toughness that they brought, the adjustments they made going from a very good Belmont team who plays different from Tennessee State and applying those tonight in a quick turnaround and just answering the call in front of a terrific crowd tonight. It's pretty special. And uh, to speak about special, Dewan Marrero, he had a heck of a game. He scored 22 career high points. He got 16 rebounds. Let's talk about him for tonight. Just, just a huge night, obviously. I mean, not, but not just the stats, you know. Obviously, the stats are, 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 are what stands out, but the way that he played tonight, he took their best players out of the game because he was so disciplined, drawing fouls on them and, and, and opportunities. Situations that he normally is a little undisciplined and gets those fouls, he really just answered the call. And I give so much credit to our team and, and to the people around our program and our coaches who talk to our guys about that type of stuff all the time. And I'm so, so proud of him for, for being disciplined tonight. And the result of that is, is you're seeing one of the best four men in our league, 22 and 16, at three assists. And uh, one of those assists was a game winner to Trey Shad. And what do you think about the game? How your win with your dad? It was good. Are you big, his biggest fan? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You say go Eagles? Mm-hmm. Go, say it. Go Eagles. <laughs> Congratulations, Coach. Thank you very much. You know, I was all about keeping my composure uh, with the referees. You know, it was a very physical game. And we knew coming in that it was going to be a dog fight from the beginning. But I believe it starts with preparation. I'm here in the mornings, getting the workout in before the games getting mentally ready, and it starts 24 hours before and 48 hours before tip-off. So I was mentally ready, and, and the, uh, the most thing was keeping my composure and keeping my guys together as a fifth-year senior. So I think I did a tremendous job. You know, some things I still need to work on, but moving forward, I think we did an exceptional job collectively winning as a team. Now with the, the matchup with Wayne Martin, that was a pretty tough one. So yeah. how was that, how that, how'd that go? I told him he was a big kid. You know what I mean? I'm a stretch four, necessarily don't play in the post, but for the most part, he was a big kid. Um, at the end of the day, we was both men tonight, um, and I knew I wasn't going to lose that battle tonight, man versus man. So I knew if I was more disciplined tonight that from my previous game, I got a technical, and I knew I couldn't get a technical con tonight or it was going to shift momentum towards uh, Tennessee State. Well, you certainly got it done. Congratulations and good luck. Thanks. That was Duan Marrero. I'm Tara Arnold here on Eagle Vision. See you next time.